Typically when one thinks of spiders, especially the large venomous kind, you know, the ones that get as big as dinner plates, we usually think of places like the Amazon, Papua New Guinea, Australia. These are the sorts of places that we usually come up with if someone were to ask us, where can I find these creatures? But what if I told you that the following story is about a man that was bitten not once, but twice by a Brazilian wandering spider in the UK of all places. A place otherwise not known for spiders, especially the venomous kind. And I just want to give you a fair warning, if you are an arachnophobe, then this video might not be for you. It's an ordinary day at a banana plantation in tropical South America, and a large five inch long spider has just finished consuming its latest prey item. One it conveniently selected from a menu featuring a variety of insects, small rodents, arthropods, and small amphibians. Upon finishing its meal, it cautiously climbs up a banana tree, tucks itself between a bunch of bananas in hopes of once again emerging at night to hunt again. Now what the spider did not see coming was a farm worker that suddenly showed up, cut the very same bunch of bananas that it was hiding in from the tree, and rather than running onto the man's arm or panicking during this time, the spider instead tucked itself further into this bunch of bananas. A few moments later, the spider finds itself plunged into darkness as the fruit that it sought refuge in was placed into a crate that would then be nailed shut and put into the back of a truck. It wasn't until an entire week went by that the spider would once again see the light of day, halfway across the world in the kitchen of a pub in the UK. The spider, having been through quite the trip and having gone without food for days, had at this point, and understandably so, been highly agitated and defensive. And as soon as it saw an opportunity for escape, it would stealthily leap out of the crate and hide under a nearby dishcloth. Bridgewater UK chef Matthew Stevens during this time is busy cleaning the kitchen of the Quantock pub, and of course isn't aware that a large, exotic, highly venomous, and not to mention notoriously aggressive Brazilian wandering spider was hiding in plain sight on the kitchen countertop. With its back legs planted, its two front legs up in the air, and its large fangs glistening and exposed, the spider has at this point assumed its classic defensive stance, one that it's popular for, a sort of intimidation dance, if you will, a tactic spiders of this kind often use to ward off potential threats, such as the few brave predators that dare to target it. Not knowing what was going on under it, an unassuming Matthew casually reaches for the dishcloth, at which point he feels a surge of pain shoot into his fingers as soon as his hand made contact and he would also at the same time feel something squirm underneath the cloth. Well aware that its cover was blown, the spider would then rush out from underneath the cloth, face Matthew, and begin performing the aforementioned intimidation dance, now in full view. Now it's important that I note before proceeding with this next part that spiders in the UK, they're generally considered not dangerous to humans. The most common spider species found in the UK, such as the house spider, garden spider, and cellar spider, are considered harmless. And although they may bite if provoked, their venom is not nearly potent enough to cause serious harm to humans. The Brazilian wandering spider, on the other hand, native to South America, is considered one of the top two most venomous spiders in the world. Also known as Phanutria, the Brazilian wandering spider is notorious for its potent venom, which is capable of causing a variety of symptoms in humans, including severe pain and inflammation, the bite is often extremely painful, and that's due to the venom's powerful neurotoxic effects, and these neurological symptoms can include tremors, blurred vision, and in more severe cases, paralysis. Another notorious effect of this venom is called priapism. Now this is a condition that's very unique, and is characterized by long-lasting and often painful erections in men. And if it's not treated promptly, it can lead to impotence. Other effects of this venom also include nausea, hypothermia, vertigo, sweating, and of course, death, which can occur in as little as two to six hours of a bite if left untreated. Now, given this context, it's understandable that Matthew, especially given the likelihood of encountering a highly venomous spider like the Brazilian wandering spider of all spiders, would despite having been bitten, not immediately assume that his life was in danger and that this spider was not one to be trifled with. So not knowing just how lethal the spider was, Matthew then goes on to grab this spider with his bare hands, causing it to bite him yet again. And it was at this point that for reasons not known to this day, he throws the spider into a freezer, pours a nearby pot of boiling hot water on top of it, and shuts the door. Just moments later, the wandering spider's potent venom begins attacking Matthew's system, as intense pain radiated up his arm from the bite sites, causing his hand to swell up to the size of a balloon. Dizziness began setting in. 
Not long after this, a friend of Matthew's takes him to the local community hospital, where doctors tell him to go home, get some rest, and keep an eye on his symptoms. Now this lack of concern from the doctors can once again be attributed to the fact that the UK's most dangerous spider is the brown widow, which despite its name closely resembling the widely known and lethally venomous black widow, isn't considered dangerous to humans at all, and has in fact no recorded fatalities on humans, at least none caused by the toxicity of its much milder venom in comparison to its cousin. It wasn't long before Matthew got home that he'd suddenly collapse to the floor and begin feeling intense chest pain, at which point his girlfriend Kara, who was luckily there with him at the time, promptly called an ambulance and he's rushed to an emergency room at the nearby Musgrove Hospital. It was here that his symptoms begin worsening. In fact, his heart had been beating so fast that he said that his chest felt like it was about to explode, and coupled with chest tightness and high blood pressure, Matthew at this point felt like he wasn't going to survive this ordeal. As doctors grew more and more concerned, they began trying to piece together the puzzle and get to the bottom of what was causing Matthew's intense symptoms. And the only thing that made sense, of course, was a spider bite. It was at this point that Matthews mentions to the doctors that he'd taken a photo of the spider in the freezer after having thrown it inside. Although because it was 2005, the cell phone pictures were grainy, when the hospital went on to send these photos to experts at the nearby Bristol Zoo, they would just minutes later receive a highly concerning response. We're sending handlers over immediately to capture the spider at the pub. With time being of the essence, a team of professionals from the zoo promptly arrive at Quantock Pub and discover the still alive spider in the freezer, which they just moments later positively identify as a Brazilian wandering spider. Back at the hospital, a saline drip is then administered to Matthew and doctors closely monitored his symptoms overnight. Fortunately, and despite having received two bites from one of the most venomous spiders in the world, Matthew was miraculously discharged from the hospital the very next day and managed to make a full recovery. The fact that Matthew was able to walk away from this ordeal the very next day shows just how very lucky he was to have not sustained any severe or permanent effects. This quick recovery of his can be attributed to a couple of factors, one being that the spider did not deliver a large enough dose of venom with its bites, which likely would have caused more severe effects, and number two being that Matthew's physiological response to the venom, which can vary by individual, could have also been a key contributor to his survival. Well, there you have it. The story of Matthew Stevens, the UK chef who was bitten by a Brazilian wandering spider not once but twice and lived to tell the tale. Now just researching this story and especially when it came to the effects of the venom of the banana spider or the Brazilian wandering spider, um, it wasn't the first time I'd heard of it. I actually listen to Tooth and Claw podcast a lot and that's uh, where I heard this story actually. But the Brazilian wandering spider, I was already familiar with its effects, especially that notorious one uh, for males. But uh, it was just really painful to imagine what that would be like because I was watching this other documentary on a man that was uh, bitten and did have these effects and uh, it's not pleasant uh, whatsoever so you can find that one on youtube just type in brazilian wandering spider bite or bitten by brazilian wandering spider uh, but yeah once again crazy story uh, these spiders are not out to get us or anything like that i just want to make that clear this was just uh, an odd occurrence and uh, luckily no injuries and, and no lives were lost here and before i do end the video i do want to say happy holidays to everybody your support, I, I cannot thank you enough, especially to the patrons, as well as everybody who watches these videos religiously and comments. I do try to read all your comments. I do try to respond to them as much as I can. Uh, with the channel growing now to well over 130,000 subscribers, looks like it's going really good places, this channel. Hit that like and subscribe button if you're new. Uh, hit that notifications bell. Hit all notifications, by the way, because for some reason, some people are not getting all notifications despite having clicked it. But other than that, this is Animal Al. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Early New Year and season's greetings to those that don't celebrate. Peace. If this episode piques your interest, then our previous episode about a brutal recent shark attack that was caught on camera is likely to do the same. You can find it on the end screen of this video.